Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Wednesday the 3rd of March. We begin our time together with our opening prayer, this time based on the will of God. Let's pray together. Loving God, there are times when our knowledge of your will is flawed, when we need the wisdom, humility and courage to accept that we are wrong. Teach us always to be open to that possibility, never so full of our own importance that we are blind to our weaknesses. But there are times too when, like Jesus in the wilderness, we have to hold on to what we know is right, despite every pressure to the contrary, standing firm against popular opinion, even when it risks alienating family and friends. Help us to know when those times are and teach us to do your will. Save us from taking the enticing path of compromise, the easy path of capitulation, or the cowardly path of leaving decisions to someone else. Give us strength in the day of testing, to be true to ourselves and true to you. Help us to know when those times are and teach us to do your will. For we pray in the name of Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 62 For Zion's sake I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake I will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. The nations will see your vindication, and all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. No longer will they call you deserted, or name your land desolate. But you will be called Hephzibah, and your land Beulah, for the Lord will take delight in you, and your land will be married. As a young man marries a young woman, so will your builder marry you. As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will your God rejoice over you. I have posted watchmen on your walls, Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourselves no rest. And give him no rest till he establishes Jerusalem and makes her the praise of the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm, Never again will I give your grain as food for your enemies. And never again will foreigners drink the new wine for which you have toiled. But those who harvest it will eat it and praise the Lord. And those who gather the grapes will drink it in the courts of my sanctuary. Pass through, pass through the gates. Prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway. Remove the stones. Raise a banner for the nations. The Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. Say to daughter Zion, See, your Saviour comes. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. They will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you will be called sought after, the city no longer deserted. Our first reading from Isaiah included the words, See, your Saviour comes, and we focus on Christ being the firm foundation of the church now as we sing together, the church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord.
Psalm 96 Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, forgive us for the way we have made our relationship with you very much one-sided, expecting you to be there for us, but all too rarely being there for you. Forgive us that we have so often intended to go our own way, clinging to what ultimately can never satisfy. Forgive us for doubting you when times are hard, questioning your ability to lead us safely through, for reaching out only when we have need of you, asking you to lift us from a mire of our own making and to set us on our feet once again. Help us to hold on more firmly in simple trust, quiet confidence and eager expectation, knowing that whatever we face and wherever we may find ourselves, you will never let us go. Amen. Whoa.